Listen. What? Okay. What did you do that for? She's gone crazy. Yeah. Hold on, girls. Before you all eat out, she definitely had something crazy to say. Yes, Trophy. You are right, but definitely not something crazy. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> listen. I need to say something. Yeah, you all need to listen to me. So you know this boo here mm -hmm. went to have a private mm -hmm. ceremony with her boo to the bay <laughs> in Seychelles. <laughs> and we went yeah. last night. <laughs> hmm? And now she's hosting us. Okay. Yeah, baby. Her closest friends. To a shindig in her matrimonial home. Oh, 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 so, girls, I say she tells Boo to come dance with her face. <laughs> Tell your husband to come. Let us see the groom. I don't even know him yet. Like, we never met him before. He doesn't even do like that. <laughs> enough, enough, girls. I go bring him. Mm -hmm. You all happy now? Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 It's a better pet name than baby. What's this for? An old man married to a younger wife, a much younger wife. It's a pill so that I don't become a disgrace, a bad baby. Oh, sorry, youngie. The night is still far away. A few hours early will be advantageous so that when night Falls, the blood is ready. The girls need you. They want to meet you. Ah, it's like putting a knot in the middle of flowers. Ah, wipe my wrinkles away. I can't see any wrinkles. No? Mm -hmm. They like me as it is like this? I find you very attractive. Well, yes, I think you're here. I live with the money. Oh, no, it's not altogether impossible, but I knew it. I was prepared for it. I've accepted it. It's like buying a brand new beautiful car or some expensive toy you love. You have to polish it, you have to shine it, you have to make it glow and blossom so that you can get maximum benefit, maximum satisfaction out of it. Maybe emotional or physical. It might even be a touch. Even a small touch is good enough for an old man like me. Hello, gold digger. What is the matter? Oh, my father has not signed your check yet. You know, when my mother died, dad, my father, signed his will and willed everything to me. But I hear you're trying to make him change that. And what is your bargaining chip? Huh? Lord have mercy. A used flesh, a wiggle, a jack in the bedroom. They're meant for being fools. You know what? 
I swear to you again that you are going to leave this house even poorer than you came to this house because I, we are going to take and rip you off everything and including your dignity. Stinking papa. Half-flight feeling like a butterfly. Full stinking idiot. My coffee, ah. Now, let's go and meet your friends. Come on. From the romance novel. Mm. Yes! <laughs> Woo, royalty. What power it says. <laughs> Girls, I introduce you to my sweet, mm -hmm. charming, mm -hmm. adorable husband. Woo! Oscar Richard. Oh, wow. He's a mogul, mm -hmm. entrepreneur, mm -hmm. and so many other things rolled in one that he doesn't like to talk about. Wow. <laughs> Just come forward for a handshake. Oh, hi, I'm Chris. Yeah. <laughs> and I am Leah. Leah. Yeah. <laughs> come on, baby. <laughs> Toby. Hey. Come on, get up, baby. You slept with my husband, huh? <laughs> Mandy. Mandy. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you get going, girl. That's not on my husband. Huh? The lion came knocking at the door, saying, Jenny, oh, Jenny, Jenny, open the door for me. Jenny, I am your mother, I am your father, I am your...
Yes. Do all those romantic things young people do when they're in love. Make me feel as if I'm eating again. <coughs> My father's wife. Please, feed him. Feed my father. That is why we married you here, right, Daddy? <laughs> That's why we married her, isn't it? Let's feed him. I guess you'll be right to say that's the only reason why I'm here. Only if my husband says so. But he has said so many times that I'm also here because he loves me. And that means more than anything you have to say. Trophy. Don't you just stop. <laughs> Daddy, wait. Trophy. My darling. Trophy is trophy. He even calls you Trophy as a pet name. No, no. It started as a joke. When she used to be my escort on business trips around the world. But then the name stuck. And we continued that name even after we were married. And I love the name Trophy. Better than my real name, Adeke. It feels modern and kinky, really? more cosmopolitan than Pamela. Mm -mm. Don't you think so? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Wait, 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 you're mistaking. <sighs> Sorry, you're too local. So. Don't spoil my name. It's Pamela. You open your mouth. Ah, Pamela. Ah, ah, ah. Don't worry, you're too local. I can't pronounce it. You might even call it Pamela. Hmm. It's not Amala. Pamela. Pam. Ah, 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 ah. Pamela. It's a conservative name. It feels like death. The dark ages of medieval history. Or to even make it worse, it sounds like the name of someone who has refused to leave the father's house and raise a home of her own. Career spinster. <laughs> oh. Coming from a local she -goat. Who graduated from a very local university. You know, I must say that you actually did well in your carryovers because you're too dumb. So stupid. <laughs> foolish. So useless to the society. Now let me be the local girl. The one who graduated from Ibadan University. That, that is not what? Yongi. Are you just gonna let her talk to me like this? Are you just gonna let that talk to me like I'm trash? Pamela, no more words from you. Now if I say anything, what will you do? What will you do? Rewrite your will because you already did that. You wrote your will favoring this stupid court and her unborn children that you're not even give her to. Rubbish. You know what? I've lost my power already. It's your food. Now, where did we get interrupted? Oh, yes. I said, feed me like a baby. Treat me as if I were young again. Make me think of those years when I was 18. Can't feed me, dear. Feed me, baby. Hmm. I was counting. What? My tongue is burning. My mouth is on fire. Whew. Sorry, what have I done? Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Yonggi. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Mm, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Yonggi. Sorry. Devil Pamela just distracted me. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Are you okay? Yes.
Let me like this. Yeah. Ah, that's it. Why is this lady looking at me like that? Who? See her now. Which is our wizard? She won't make her. Am I owing her or does she know me from somewhere? No worry. She's still looking. Make her ask. And to good afternoon. <laughs> Good afternoon. Auntie, I don't know you. I mean, your face, not the familiar. Don't you welcome new customers here? We don't welcome them. But this one be say, make our customer to feel uncomfortable since you enter here. Is everything okay? Don't worry yourself. Anyways, your customer here is my friend. Oh. And that is why I am looking at her. Mm. Are you not my friend? <laughs> Is there anything wrong with looking at my friend? I beg, where I know you from? Because I cannot remember. Do you know Oscar Richards? Married to Adeke. Some local girl you call Trophy. Yes, I do. Good. I have a deal for you. Trust me, after this deal, he will never come to a tacky salon like this. Ah. <laughs> Whenever you want to make your hair, you will either travel to Hawaii or some really nice, classy place. Let's talk outside. Why can't we talk here? Ah, actually, follow on our ship security to the outside. I'll be waiting. Bro, Josh, why are you not pulling out? Why are you not pulling out? Pulling out for what? They don't pay our salary. I mean, they don't know. Hey, wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? Please, I don't do all these stuffs. You don't do what? Getting close to my fellow woman, trying to kiss her, whatever it is you wanted to do. Let me introduce myself. I am Pamela Richards. The first daughter of Oscar Richards from his first marriage. Before he impregnated another girl that bore him his only son, Edwards. You know that Edwards tried to kill me? Yeah. Long story. You know, my father stayed for decades before accepting to get married again until he met your friend, Trophy, who turned his head around and got him to marry her. <laughs> that again is another long story. You're not comfortable with me, so this is me trying to let you know who I am. You know, I maintain a permanent suite at Bellissimo Hotel. Why don't we go there so that I can tell you more about me, get you to know me better? You like men? <sighs> don't worry, you know, I'll just, um, Call this idol island boys to come spice up things for us. <laughs> you know, come play with us. Oh, no. oh Lord, girl, you have been missing all the rest of your life. So, is this the reason why you came all the way to see me? No, 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 not exactly. You see, you're very smart. <laughs> I like you already. You're very intelligent. Ah, come. come on. Ah. Stop acting like I'm a plane. Come closer. I want you to get married to my father. Yeah, I want you to be my stepmom. Look, there is a lot of money to be inherited here. We could form a team, throw your friend out of the house, and together we will have fun for the rest of our lives. Look, like I said, you don't need to come to this kind of place to do whatever it is you're doing in there. I'm confused. What are you confused about? You want me 
to snatch my friend's husband. Exactly. My father. Snatch him and keep him. You need to do proper grocery shopping. Get new things, classy, sexy things, things that would flaunt your body. And um, my card. I will be expecting your call. Don't keep me hanging. Hey, this girl is evil. Mama, she just give me money, just like that. Hey, God knows I am not giving her this money back. I will take it, and my girl trophy, I will not hurt her. When you come, be say now, a person not even get money. She can't carry money on the tenth person. Now God go punish Alias we tell us we are dead. Alias! Alias! When you come make you carry me, go carry us in what we are they make her. Sir, I'm not happy, sir. Uh, whenever you call me, sir, I know there's trouble. Yes, sir. I want to walk. They've tagged me a gold digger in this house, an idle wife. They? Your daughter. She has given me all sorts of names, all sorts of insults. I'm a graduate, sir. Get me a job. You know people. I want to earn my own money, spend my own money. I know I come across as a trophy wife, one who married a man old enough to be her father for his money. What causes my heart? I don't like small, small boys. I can't deal with their wahala. You're the kind of man I've ever wanted to marry. You're everything I've ever dreamt of. I like peace. And you have peace. No, I don't. Only a job can give me peace. I am your job. Work me. I have told you before, taking care of me is more than a full-time job. And I pay you a salary for that, apart from the upkeep balance for the house every month. I want a proper job. I am a proper job. I don't want you leaving this house to go elsewhere and work for somebody else. Case closed. All right. I will increase your monthly salary by 200,000 Naira. It will now add up to 800,000 Naira a month. How many people in this country earn that much as monthly salary? I prefer to earn 350,000 Naira in an outside job than to earn 1 million Naira in house. Then, to who takes care of you? The husband you claim to love. I don't expect love from you. You can pretend to do so. But for my own convenience, and as a luxury, in luxury. Well, if I deceive myself and believe you love me and it turns out not to be true, then I'll die from dashed expectations. I don't want to die like that, no. Better to live knowing that I do not expect love. Or if you like, you can love me if you like. But I will not die like that. Mm. 
if I accept that there may be no love, it's convenient for me and I deliberately and willingly live life like that, it's better to die that way. Daddy, how are you? Hmm. Hey, our wife, how are you? Hi, Pamela, my daughter. <laughs> you see? You see? That is part of your job. Endure. Endure it. That is part of your job. My daughter, ever since you left home after a long time, your mother and myself know that we have a daughter. Yes, so God bless you. Where this one came from, man? Eh? May you continue to come like that. Amen. God will multiply it. Amen. Papa. Ah, ah, yeah. This is seventy thousand. So just use it and buy any you know important things you ah. need to buy. When I come next time, I will bring more. Thank you very much. You know, you just solved a big problem for us. Mary, your sister here hasn't even paid her school fees. Just ordinary fifty-three thousand naira. But now with this, now not only will I be able to pay, but I'll also have some change. <laughs> 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 Run, 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 go and buy drink for your sister. Run, 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 run. Go and buy drink for your sister. Go and buy one for her now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Kiss me. You really want me to? Why not? Am I not your wife too? Yes, of course you are. <sighs> what is happening to me? Why am I talking to me? No, I'm not talking to you. Why, why am I even thinking of such? Why? Why am I even harboring such in my head? It will not happen. It won't. I know I need money. I know every girl needs money, but... Hi, Pamela. I came and they said you left the house very early, so I waited for you. Was expecting your call. You never called. No. Get in the car, we're going up. Pamela, what do you want? Okay. Let me put it this way. The money I gave to you the last time, that was 200,000 naira. Can I get 50,000 out of it? I need to just um, put one while I'm down the road. I don't have up to 50k. What? Say so what? 
I didn't hear you. What did you say? I don't have the, uh, up to 50k. Oh, you don't have up to 50k? <laughs> that means you're broke. You're in need of money. Why are you acting so stupid? Hmm? Why don't you marry an old man who will satisfy your young needs and love you need? Why are you acting like sugar cannot melt in your mouth? Meanwhile, you can eat bone. Strong malu bone. How stupid can you be? Hmm? How? Don't keep me waiting. Hmm. Trophy, hmm? I want to ask you a question. Okay. You know, when you went to do your wedding, you didn't really tell me anything, so there was no time for us to talk. Yes, I know. I trust that you're going to tell me the truth. Why not? Will I lie to you? Do you love your husband? Of course I love him. Oscar is a nice man. He's very caring and mature. I fell in love with him. Somebody so rich yet humble. His type is rare. Okay. So you're saying you did not marry him because of his money? Leah, you of all people, you know I don't date small, small boys. I love him. Plus, I'm a graduate. <laughs> Forget the fact that I didn't have a job when I met my husband. I would have gotten one and I would have been fine. What if you lose him? <sighs> Losing? How? Anyhow, well, I don't know what I will do. 
You know I have nobody. My parents are dead. My half-brother does not want to see me. I'm pretty much a lone bird. Except for a few old friends like you and my dearest husband. So do you want to have kids? Every woman wants to have kids. Not every woman. Well, I want to have kids. And where are all these questions coming from? So, are you telling me I can't ask questions if I'm curious? Curiosity kills the cat. Curiosity will not kill this cat. <laughs> Eat your food, I better let me get you water. <laughs> So how are you? I'm okay. I'm fine. Have you gotten a job yet? Uh, no, I haven't. And honestly, if I did, you know, I would have used the salary to support the project to when the project can start paying me. Hmm. Honestly, I don't know how long I can continue to do this. I don't like the feeling like I'm sneaking around my husband. Trust me, I feel sad. But, you know, I still have right to his money. His money? Yes. But this his money has become my money. The salary I get paid for work I do at home. Hmm. I don't know. Sooner or later, I have to tell him. No. I only give you this money because I feel pity for you. No, no, no. See, listen. He will divorce you. Hmm? He hates me. And then there's no one that's going to help me stand on my feet. So please, I beg you, don't tell him now. What if he finds out? And sometimes I feel like Pamela has me followed. <sighs> it's possible, Sha. Because Pamela, she's evil. Lie, if not for blood. Or I found a way to get rid of her. So this foolish girl has been the one sustaining Edwards, my stepbrother. What are they planning? Who knows? He could be responsible for her getting married to my father so that they could take everything, take all the inheritance and elope. And then I'll be left with nothing. What? You don't say such to my hearing. You must not hurt anybody. It's my word, okay? Or if not for blood. Edward. I wish it wasn't true. I wish it wasn't so, but I won't harm her. You must not hurt anyone. It deprives you of your peace. The peace you have at home every night before you go to bed. You know, my father doesn't deserve an angel like you. I mean, he's just a old, stupid, gullible man. You dare not talk about my husband like this. He's my husband. And I've come to love him. Edward. Come on. I'm sorry. Better. Here. Thank you very much. Now you're smiling. Okay. I have to go home now. All right. All right. Take care. Bye. Leah. Leah, leave whatever you're doing right now and come meet me right now. Look, it's urgent. Please. 
Don't keep me waiting. Okay. All right. See you soon. I know my friend. My friend loves your father so much. What is this? Take a look at it. I knew it. I just knew that your friend was cheating on my father. Take a look at it. Hold it. Look at it. Who is he? How the heck am I supposed to know that? You are our best friend. You should tell me that. Tell me who the hell this man is. Your friend is wasting my father's money on. This is shocking. Yes, it is shocking. So, are you willing to help me get rid of this Jezebel? What if your father does not fall for it? I know my father will. My father is ready to fall for any willing female. I know my father so well. Except he has changed overnight. Which of course I'm sure of he hasn't. Here. I have more money. Take this money. The next time you come to my house, I need you to make a move on my father and ensure that he sees you properly and try to get rid of trophy. Take it. Stop acting like you don't need this money. <laughs> I know you need the money. Take it. Do what you have to do. What else? Be prepared to pay for every dime you've collected. For me. Before I choose you, I studied you. And you saw that I was poor. Poor? Sexy. And in need of money. You are dangerous. <laughs> Every smart woman is dangerous. Do what you have to do. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hello. Playing a game? Yes, Candy Crush. I see. <laughs> mm. I'm going out. Oh, where to? Mm, here and there, and also to see my friend Mandy. I haven't seen her in a while. I cannot recollect who Brandy or <laughs> what his name is. It's not Brandy, it's Mandy. Oh, Mandy. Yes. Mm, Mandy. Okay. <laughs> Mandy. Be careful and safe. I will. We need you here. <laughs> Don't miss me too much, okay? All right. <laughs> Dad, where does she go to? Oh, My wife has a life of her own to live. No, 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 no. I no, don't, no. I don't, I don't have to play detective with her. No, 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 she's seen someone. Pamela. Dad, she's seen someone else. Pamela, you hate that woman. She is my wife. You have to accept that. And stop coloring her 
bad. Accept her. No, no, no. I will never accept a woman who gives my father's money to another guy. No! That she's wasting your money. I cannot take her for that. No, she is not wasting my money. Really? Okay. Why don't you take her on arrest when she comes back? Ask her to tell you where she keeps all the money you give to her. Let her show you proof. Give you evidence that she actually keeps the money you give to her. You gave her money today, right? She needed money. And I gave her some, yes. Aha, exactly my point. You see, okay, fine. That when she comes back, just tell her to return the money you gave to her today and then watch her closely and see her reaction. Huh? That woman, I don't... Hello, guys. Look, you need to start the house immediately. Yes, this is the right time to make your move. No, why is she not listening to me? Listen, start coming to the house immediately now, like now. Yes, put on your sexiest clothes and start going. Are you mad? What is wrong with you? These girls don't act so local and foolish. Whatever is sexy to you, just wear, just look very, very nice, okay? Come on, be smart for it. You, you need. Shut, all right, shut, just shut up, shut up and listen to me. Just act like you didn't know she's not in the house and then tell her you need to wait for her to return. Yes, fine, yes. Yes, yes, yes. It's fine for you. Go, 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 Hello. <laughs> Hi. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for making it on such a short notice. It's fine. I just want to help you stand on your own feet. <sighs> Madam, your kindness is unprecedented. I mean, um, you know, you're my father's wife. And you have a son, you know, sons for him. Uh, it's still interesting how yet, you know, you don't want me to be a total waste. I know other women that will have children, they will definitely want me to be a total waste because they don't want any competition with, you know, their kids. But, um, you know, like that. Come on. Are you alive just to inherit what another man has labored for? Or are you alive to make your own way, your own name, your own money? Uh, I want to do my own things. Then you must embrace that poor man's mentality. You should be optimistic. Just that, I have to tell your father everything. No, no, no. I'm tired of sneaking around. I've run out of excuses to come and see you. See, my father would cut off any form of help that I'm getting. You saw the way he did, he kicked me out of the house. Even my own half-sister framed me up. Please, listen, if you cannot see me, hmm, just send the money to my account, okay? No, no way. I don't want my name to appear in your bank account. If he finds out on his own, it will even be worse. Hmm. <sighs> How is the poetry business for you? Well, it's okay. Um, you know, they're getting bigger these days. They're eating a lot. <laughs> That's why I need more money these days. I know, right? Yeah. But it's all well. <laughs> Is your madam around? Madam not around though. She's not around. Maybe. Okay, let me call her. Hello, babes. I'm at your place. <laughs> How am I supposed to know you won't be at home? You hardly go out now. It's very urgent. We can't talk No, no, no. This one past full matter. All right. Thank you, dear. Um, she said she would speak with your boss. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. You and Leah, right? Eh? Yes, sir. And my wife told me. <laughs> yeah, you must welcome. Thank you. Please sit down. Mm. 
Yes, what shall I get for you while you wait for your friend? Um, water will do, sir. Just water? Yes. Hope I'm not stressing you so much, sir. Uh, coming up in one minute. Thank you so much, sir. You're so nice. Water. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, You're too kind. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. My wife and I have decided not to have servants or maids in this house. Mm, that's best. Uh, we help ourselves with these chores. Uh, sir, what do you think about this World Cup? My friend and I have been arguing that the best team, which is France, are filled with Africans. Now my argument is, we Africans, we only claim our people when they do well in foreign countries. You know, so I don't know, what's your take on that? Well, Africa is a gorgeous place. Mm -hmm. You're right, and she is right. But there are many sides to the argument. Mm. Africa is a beautiful place, lots of beautiful women mm. and talented, cool guys. But the question is, um, well, uh, when does an African stop being African? For instance, uh, an African assimilated in France, playing footballer for years, is he still truly African. <laughs> <laughs> I am enjoying this conversation. Come uh, on, come and sit down. Uh, come. <laughs> come and sit down. Hi, baby. <laughs> I'm fine, darling. You've been sitting out by yourself? No, 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 no. Um, your husband was here. He gave me water and then he went upstairs. I see. Please, tell me. What's this urgent thing? I want to hear. Babes. Mm -hmm. I won't marry you. It's a lie. <laughs> oh, my God. Now, who is this lucky guy? Is this somebody that I know? No. Mm. I have a list of guys. Okay. I, I shall know that I want to marry. That's why I'm here. So you can mm -hmm. help me with your credentials. Oh yeah, wait. <laughs> Let me go and greet my husband first. And then we start the selection process. This will not be hard. Have you my time? <laughs> no, we take our time. Hey, my dear, I'm Hey, my dear, So, what have you been doing with the salary I've been paying you over the years? Do you have any savings? Yes, I do. Very good. I will need some money. I have an issue with my bank. And EFCC has frozen my account. What? Oh, it's nothing major. It will be sorted out within a week or two. Um, just a slight mix-up. Meanwhile, I will do arrange to transfer five million naira into my account tomorrow morning. Hey, baby, I don't have up to that. Oh, <coughs> sorry. 
There is this project I'm doing. Sorry, contribution. Ajo. I put my money in Ajo for now. All of it? I have like 500,000 naira now. No. Well, no problem. I'll ask one of my friends. Okay. Daddy? Daddy, take. What is this? I saw the way you were looking at her yesterday. So I collected a number for you. Who is this? Leah. Look. Leah? Yes, Daddy. I, I prefer her as a stepmother. Besides, you're a chief and there's nothing wrong with marrying more than one wife. So that there'll be peace and uh, balance in this house. Daddy. Did you, did you see her smile? <laughs> she has such a sweet spirit. And she's so nice. See, we're compatible. I like her so much. So there's no harm in trying. Just make your move. Call her. Let me call her. Kamala. I loved your mother to bits. And the love I have for her still comes up afresh in you. And you know it. So you take advantage of it. You control and manipulate me. I have not got over your mother's death. No, but then you killed her when she found out that you had um, another son with another woman. And then you hid it from her for years. And, and the thing that you named him after you. Edward Oscar Richard. And then when my mother died, you, you, you brought the boy to this house. Is it because I'm a girl and he's a boy? And the idiot even tried to kill me. And did I not send him away from the house on account of that? Yeah, I forgave you that time. But, but then you, you made me angry. Then when you went to marry this, this uh, dirty uh, local uh, Adeki, I was that stupid name. Look, Dad, to make everything right, in fact, for, for peace to reign in this house, call, call Leah and marry Leah as, as, as second wife. Me, I want her as my stepmother. I love her. She loves me. In fact, we are very compatible. There will be peace and harmony in this house. No more fighting. No more quarreling. I promise to call her. That the way you call her, if you are not calling her now, keep the name. Keep the name. And you call her, yeah? And the phone call you call her. Hey, Daddy. Call her. Baby, I know you don't like me calling you baby, but still, you're my baby. I love you. And I married you for love, even though you may have married me for other reasons. I have confession. What? I have been giving money to your son, Edward. What? Chief, that boy is innocent. Please hear me out. I have been seeing him. After he got to know that I was dating you, he came to me crying for help. Chief, you needed to have seen him, looking very tattered, squatting with friends, no money to even eat. And so? <sighs> so? Chief, he's your blood. He's your son. He is you. And if I say I love you, I can't watch your son suffer like that. My heart melted. I asked him what he wanted to do. He said poultry farm, so I gave him money to start. Since then, I have been giving him money. You are a traitor. No, I'm not a traitor. I'm a peaceful woman. I'm here to bring back your home. When I have children of my own, they will be friends, brothers and sisters to Edward Oscar Richard Jr. 
I don't have anything against Pamela. But you're letting the excessive love you have for her mother blind you. She has it wrapped around her fingers. She is evil. You're a good man. I don't know where she got her nature from. I know it was its innocence. She set him up. Chief, please, please. Edward is your blood. He is your son. Please. Please see Edward. Listen to him. Give him a chance. Mandy, I'm a bad girl. You know, right? I have been a bad girl. <laughs> what did you do? Did I do? What have I done? Oh, what am I in the process of doing? That's what you should be asking. <laughs> okay, answer me. You know, if if I was doing it because I love him or if I'm attracted to him, then I would not have done it for my feelings. But in this case, I'm doing it for the money. My my parents want money. My my sister wants money. My relatives want money. Everybody wants money. You know, these people who commit crime, <laughs> they don't do it because they want to commit crime. They just do it because they have lots of responsibilities and so many people to help. <laughs> I know I'm drunk. Yes, I know. So stop talking or you tell me what it is you have done. Oh. I am not going to say anything. But when it happens, you will hear. You will definitely hear when it happens. <laughs> this life. Uh, are you sure this is the right thing to do? And even after how he treated me, he didn't even give me a fair chance to speak to him. I mean, how do I even look at him in his face? Hey, Edward. I've spoken many times with your father in the last couple of days. And he has agreed to see you. The best you can do is to be optimistic. Okay. Okay, I'll be optimistic. Just calm down. Let me go and get him. Okay? All right. soup right in front of me now so i'm going to try what you just said see if you lie to me eh? Eh, hold on hold on hold on just hold on hold on hey edward i'm having an argument with my friend she's saying that if you pour this yeah. take this put the stick pour a little no pour here pour a little to take pour a little what? pour a little yes pour a little oh. good all right use your hand to mix it mix it let's see 
Hold on, hold on, we're still trying to try it. Mix it. Serious? Mix it! Oh no, let's let's find out this whole thing. No, mix it inside. Inside the soap. Mix it very well. Mix it very well. Hold this, just hold it, hold this. Hold it. Yeah. Daddy! <laughs> Edward? Tell him, okay, if he tried for me, that he asked him, tell him to leave this soup, he mixed this, this thing into, let him lick it. No, Edward, what is this you have in your hand? Don't <laughs> wash, don't wash, he cannot talk again, no, you lick my soup, that is trying to kill me, why is he trying to kill me now, what did I do to him? Is it because he's not my blood brother, is it because we have different mothers, he's trying to kill me now? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> I know that I know that I'm like my own brother. See what he's trying to do to me. What? <laughs> what? Daddy, I swear to God, that is what happened. But you never gave me the chance to explain my own side of the story. You drove me out of the house. It's been six years now, and ever since my mom died, everything just went from bad to worse. After graduation from me, I learned that you were dating this young lady. I, I traced her. And I found her and I explained my whole story. And I told her to help me. Help me not to die. And she loves you, Daddy. She's been taking care of me ever since then. With all the things I know now, I cannot put anything past Pamela, my daughter. I have just been blinded by my exceeding love for her. Daddy, do you believe me? Do you believe I'm innocent? I believe you. I believe you, sir. That's all that matters. Thank you. Mm. Well, get ready. Seek admission in any school of your choice. I'd like you to go abroad and do your master's degree of the I'm supposed to see Leah this evening. Which Leah? Someone you know, your bestie. Pamela is trying to hook us up. I'm not understanding. Well, Pamela wants me to marry her. I've spoken to Leah a few times on the phone and uh, she hasn't said no. So we plan to meet this evening one of these sweets at Rocket Sweets and talk it over, even consummate the relationship. And you kept all this from me? Well, I was sure. I didn't know whether I was going to take it seriously or not. I was drawn by the curiosity. Uh, but when you opened up to me about Edward, I knew it was only a matter of time before I would open up to you too. Pamela made me believe you were seeing another man and giving him my money. I believe Pamela knew it was Edward we were meeting with. I don't even know what to think of. It's not even about Pamela. It's about Leah. And when are you two supposed to meet? Uh, this evening. I'm driving straight to that place. 
want to see her when she walks in. So girls, that in a nutshell is what has been bothering me. I'm not going. It's good you told us to. Don't go. See, we have to talk to you. Because even if you're not a close friend, or even a best friend, it's going to be a different thing. Mm -hmm. Amina is crazy. I am not going to tell Trophy. I can't. Maybe they will wait there and they won't see me. When they get there, they will go now. And besides, I don't want to tell Trophy, uh, Trophy to end their marriage. Our two of them will use it to settle. I think it is wise not to tell them. Let her find out herself. In other things, the man will be done. Ah, uh, not tell who? Tell them. Ah. Uh, if the marriage light make it break, do you want her to suffer? You want her to be deceived? She's your friend. Ah. Money get power, Sha. Do you know I almost did it? <laughs> the thing that stopped me is just our friendship. Well, you call it the money, Sha. You know we've been friends for. For, for years, since we were children. The money call. I'm saying something really serious. Okay. Put my attention. I'm sure when she gets to the hotel and catches them, she'll get angry and then she'll leave the marriage by herself. Then I will encourage Leah to move on with my father. And then he's going to change his will and change her name, use Leah as his wife. <laughs> then I know I have my percentage of the whole agreement. Wait. <laughs> if this girl tries to act smart, heaven knows that I'm going to do anything to get her out of the way. Anything at all. Alright then. I guess I will just hold my legs. Then I cannot wait for the drama <laughs> to unfold. <laughs> okay, I need you. Anywhere. Hmm. Look at this. It's from no other than Pamela. Exactly. Hmm. She is setting up her game plan. <laughs> Wants you to catch me red-handed in the very act. And of course, break up the marriage yourself. Perfect plan. She is even setting up her friend Leah. Oh. I wonder from where she got all this. Certainly not from me. Of course not from you. It should be from her great-great-grandparents. Or uh, maybe peer group in school. After family, peer group and environment has a role to play in a child's life. At any rate, 
is long past the time for this appointment. And your friend is not showing up. Here we go. Hmm. Yeah. She's not answering her phone calls. Yeah. What happened? My husband and I were waiting for you. Why didn't you come? Girls, talk to me. What's going on? I couldn't do it. And you couldn't tell me either. How do you expect her to tell you? Amela is the one you should be angry with, not her. Hmm. Who told you? Pamela sent me an SMS. She was even going to set you up. And my husband told me to. <laughs> set me up. Pamela. Trophy, you and your husband need to know the kind of devil you have in that household. The earlier you chase her, the better for both of you. Hmm. <laughs> I know, but my husband didn't know. But he knows now. Oh, Trophy, Pamela told me you were having an affair. <laughs> she trailed you once or twice. I thought as much. The boy in question is my stepson. My husband's first son. Who he drove away through this same Pamela's antics. I was helping him. He came to me crying for help. I've told my husband truth. He knows everything now. So he has reconciled with his son. That was a good thing you did. If Oscar is no more tomorrow, you need that boy on your side to face Pamela. Yes, but that's not the reason why I did that. It's my nature. And you are beautiful inside and outside. <laughs> Let me call my husband. Let me tell him that you're even better than we thought. And then, <laughs> and we all go to the house together. I want to see Pamela's face when she will see all of us. <laughs> <sighs> ah, 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 girls. Mm. Sit down, sit down. Ah, ah, sit down. <laughs> Let me call Pamela. They came home a short while ago and saw me sitting without profit. She said, What the bad news? <laughs> Pamela! <laughs> Pamela! Yes, I <laughs> Yes. As you can see, things did not work out according to your plan. You see, I took the initiative. And she showed me the SMS you have sent with another SIM card. Why would you want to destroy the happiness of your own father? Why did you destroy my mother's happiness? Moreover, I spoke with Edward for the first time in six years and found out that the Oh boy, I've been punished for nothing. Father, you made me grow up without a mother's love. Why will you grow up with a father or a mother? So revenge. Revenge is what you are seeking for. Why would you hate a father who loves you so much? Why do you hate a father who will take your blood for you? Bring back my mother and I will forgive you. And to think that you divided your will between me and this stinking, smelly, silly, local girl. You think I did not know? Your mother died of the heart attack. I did not kill her. No, you killed her. Because she died when she found out you have fathered a love child outside. Even after you married her. Pamela, I've had enough of this. I love you. And you hate me. It's time you moved out of this house. Find a flat or something. And get out of this house. You don't go to live with me anymore. And as for the will, 
is divided into three parts. Trophy, Edward, and yourself. Your greed will not let you have all of it. So from now on, do not take your father's love for granted. Get out of my house. Live your own place. Enough is enough. Baby, stop swearing. She may change in future. Always give room for people to change. Now she's still consumed with anger over what she did. That was in the past. I'm talking of the future. Sometimes the past never really passes. You can see now that I truly love you. It's not for your money. Yes. I know. Yes. <sighs>